Welcome to the magical world of solar. In this video, we're going to discuss how to install a midnight solar combiner box. I'm Jay Warmke with Blue Rock Station. Let's talk a little bit about the parts of a midnight solar combiner box. Uh, this photo here is an, of an empty example. On the left there is a negative bus bar. That's where you'll make all of your negative string connections as well as the PV output uh, connection that will go then to your DC disconnect. There's a grounding bus bar. This is where all the equipment ground will be connected to. We'll discuss that a little bit where you would connect in the ground from your rails and then you'll continue the equipment grounding to your DC disconnect. Then there's overcurrent protection for each of the positive strings. Now this combiner box assumes you're using a isolated inverter or a transformed inverter. This is a little bit old school, but in these cases you only put overcurrent protection on the positive leg of your system. Now at the top of each of these circuit breakers or overcurrent protection, there's a metal tab that fits in. They screw down into the top output of each of those breakers. And then they combine that positive voltage. On the far left in this photo, you can see a lug where you would connect your PV output circuit for the positive leg of your circuit. Now the PV source circuit, which comes from the array to the combiner box allows us in a um, traditional system to combine multiple strings and then lead from the combiner box to the DC disconnect with a single string. That just helps with wire management and the like. So we're in this case only coming in with one string, but if we had multiple strings, we could hook into multiple um, breakers, which is the overcurrent protection that protects each of the strings. Now here I have a positive wire coming into the bottom. I have a positive wire which would combine all of the breakers into one circuit which is heading out to the DC disconnect. Now I've also hooked up a surge protector. The positive is connected up here so it's connected to the full circuit. The negative wires are all connected in this negative bus bar. So the surge protector negative the negative from each string would be connected in here into the negative and then the grounding bus bar the ground from the surge protector gets connected in here and the equipment ground which is coming in from your PV array would be connected into here. If this were a ground mounted system this would also be where you would connect your ground which would go down to a DC ground which would protect the standalone array out in the field that is required by the NEC. So we have multiple strings coming in, only one string leaving, and the wiring is fairly self-evident within this box. Of course, it's always dangerous to say things are pretty self-evident, so let's take a closer look at how the wiring is done within the box when it's completed. Again, we have the negative bus bar. That's where you'll make your connections from the PV source circuits. That's coming from each of the strings of the array, as well as the PV output, which goes to the DC disconnect. You have a ground bus bar where all of the equipment grounding is going to be connected. Then you also have the PV source positives, which feed into the bottom of each of the breakers. Now this particular unit, it can accept up to six strings. There's a PV output lug, which will take all of those six strings and combine the voltage for an output uh, positive circuit. And then we've also included a surge protector here. That's a good idea, especially for a ground mounted system where they might get struck by lightning. So this is a midnight solar surge protection. It goes through one of the knockouts on the side of the box. So then it connects in three points. It has a negative wire, which connects to the negative bus bar. It has a ground wire, which connects to the ground bus bar. And then it has a positive wire and you want to connect that up on the PV output circuit that will protect all of your source circuits. If you connected it into just one of the breakers you'd need a surge protector for each one of the strings that are coming in. So I like to connect this to the output circuit 
and you can see on this particular example the tab has two lugs attached so we're using one of the lugs for the positive PV output circuit and we're using the other lug to connect in our surge protector so that's it for wiring a midnight solar DC combiner box You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at blueRockStation.com.